Teenage driver accused of causing a high-speed crash that killed a woman and three children has been released from the hospital. 18-year-old Chase Jones is now under electronic home monitoring. Jones faces four counts of vehicular homicide and two counts of vehicular assault and reckless driving. Como's Lynn Ann Wynn joins us live with the latest tonight. Lynn Ann? Well, Chase Jones spent weeks in the hospital following that deadly crash with broken arms and broken legs, according to his attorney. But he has since been discharged from the hospital and is now on electronic home monitoring. And per the court order, he is not allowed to operate any motor vehicle. I hear a woman screaming and then it got my attention and then I look up and then I just see the minivan hit me. And then I pass out. Melissa Cortez Correa is still traumatized by what she saw on March 19th. She was stopped at a red light at 140th Avenue Southeast and Southeast 192nd Street in Renton when 18 year old Chase Jones came barreling through the intersection at 112 miles an hour. Andrea Hudson, Boyd Brown and Eloise and Matilda Wilcoxon were all killed in the crash. It affected me mentally because of what I saw. A lot of people don't understand that I saw dead kids laying next to my car. I saw her literally fighting for her life. Records show Jones was involved in three serious crashes in the last year related to his speeding. Earlier this week, a judge set bail at $100,000. I do have a very serious concern about whether there will be future reckless or harmful behavior that will hurt other people. Ordering Jones be placed on electronic home monitoring with GPS after posting bail and being released. I am going to order uh, that Mr. Jones not drive or operate any vehicle whatsoever. So no cars, no bicycles, no skateboards. If it has wheels, you can't operate it. I'm only going to heal if he's behind bars. I don't want no one else like him to be out in the streets because I don't want another family going through this. I don't want anyone else going through this. And the father of Eloise and Matilda Wilcoxon also told us in a very strong statement, while Chase Jones sits comfortably at home watching Netflix, the bo broken bodies of Matilda, Eloise, and Buster, three innocent children, lie side by side in fresh graves, never to return home to their families. While Chase Jones shares a meal at home with his loved ones, the body of Andrea Hudson lies in a freezer at the King County Medical Examiner's Office, awaiting the day that her children, Nolan and Charlotte, will be well enough to attend her funeral. He also went on to say that the families as well as the community demand accountability in this and the court's leniency in this case makes them question that commitment to accountability. Reporting live in Renton, Lanann Wynn, Como News.